This has been very long overdue, but we are back finally with another round of my Let's Break It Down, my entire makeup collection, part seven. What a wonderful world. touch base with you guys briefly before we hop into the inventory part of this video and let you guys know that I do apologize that it has been so long in between my round seven on my inventory. If you haven't seen that, I will list that in the cards as well as the playlist to my inventory that I have done so far of my makeup collection, which is humongous. Most of you know that I am on a two year no buy and I'm no longer accepting gifts on my no buy because I have an enormous amount of makeup and I'm I'm just trying to use what I have. My part six on my inventory series was my cheek products like bronzers, blush, and highlight. I have done my eyeshadow palettes, my lipsticks, and all of my base products like primer, concealer, and foundation. So now we are going into basically the rest of my makeup collection and what I have left. And in this video, you will see my eye primers, mascaras, and eyeliners, I believe. I should be able to squeeze those in. It has been long overdue. So we are finally back with part seven. If you want to see how much makeup I have in these categories, then just make sure to keep on watching. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe. I put out new videos three to four times a week, so you don't want to miss out on all the fun. Make sure you click that bell to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a video from me. All my other links to all my other social media platforms will be down in the description, so make sure to check the down bar. Without further ado, let's just hop on into the inventory. smaller categories of my makeup collection which is my mascaras and my current count of mascaras is 11. Last year we were at 10. I did however manage to use up my Too Faced Better Than Sex full-size mascara as well as my L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara which was two full sizes. This year the Tarte Big Ego mascara was brought in. This came with a gift that my husband purchased me which was the Unleashed palette from Tarte. This is how the number went up instead of going down even though I have used two full-size mascaras as well as the ABH Lash Brag is new. This was gifted to me from Influencer for review purposes. It's not the greatest, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really don't care for the formula. It's very goopy, and it reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which was just too goopy and clunky and too thick for my liking. I will use it and finish it, but it's not my favorite. So I haven't bought any new mascaras, but again, a couple were brought in for as gifts. I'm not currently panning any mascaras, but I have, however, just recently opened this ColourPop Volumizing Mascara and the it's a pink mascara. It doesn't really show up very pink on my lashes. I've tried to apply it by itself just on my bare lashes, as well as trying to apply it over a coat of black mascara, and it just doesn't really apply pink. I don't have any like white mascara primers, that would probably make it show more if I had a white mascara primer maybe but because I don't I'm not going to be purchasing any this just doesn't really show very well on my lashes so if I was to pan any of these next it would definitely be the ColourPop volumizing mascara as well as a couple of these minis I would like to get opened up and start using. Starting with the NYX On The Rise will probably be the first one of the minis that I would like to use and start panning. Just because I've heard really great things about the NYX On The Rise mascara, so I would like to pan this next, as well as the ColourPop mascara, and then probably the 
Lancome Lash Domination. It's just a real teeny one, but I heard really good things about this one as well. My favorite mascara is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. This doesn't flake, it doesn't budge, it doesn't smudge, it lasts all day. It keeps my lashes thick and voluminous throughout the day and it holds a curl really nicely. I really, really love that mascara. And then my favorite for my lower lashes is my Maybelline Lash Discovery. This has just a really small wand that is ideal for your lower lashes because I have barely nothing there lashes on my lower lash line. So it's more ideal and just so much more easier for me to use a mascara that has a really small wand like this for my lower lashes. Once this is gone, I will in fact be repurchasing a the Maybelline Lash Discovery or any type of smaller wand mascara for my lower lashes just because I don't have any other that have a small wand like the Maybelline. I don't plan on decluttering any of these. I do intend to try my hardest to use all of these. Once the CoverGirl is done and the Maybelline Lash Discovery, I will be repurchasing the Lash Discovery. But once the CoverGirl is done, I plan on working on next the NYX on the Rise and the Long Comb. And my future numbers and goals I would like to get this down to about six. So we're at 11 right now and I would ideally like to get it to six. So once I use this one and the Maybelline Lash Discovery won't be a subtraction because it will be in fact getting repurchased. Once I finish this, as well as the pink one, I'm gonna try my hardest to finish that. And ideally, I would like to use all my minis. So once this is finished, I'm gonna start working on all of my minis. That will then bring my collection down to three. But I'm okay and comfortable with having at least six mascaras in my collection. This is my current mascara inventory, and we are at 11. Five full size and six minis. These are all of my eye primers slash glitter glues and I currently have 15. Last year I was at 13 so the two that was brought in well there's a couple that were brought in but the Becca under eye anti fatigue was brought in this year as well as this little mini Becca under eye brightener which is actually really good I really really like this and as well as the little mini lit liquid glitter glue this stuff is really great it's just like a liquid glitter glue instead of a thicker consistency like the elf one or this bh cosmetics base booster glitter and shadow glue one that was decluttered from my collection was the mary Kay eyeshadow primer i just didn't really care for it it made my eyeshadow crease throughout the day and it didn't last very long so i did declutter that one that i had finished recently is my urban decay primer potion it was just a mini one that i am currently panning right now and focusing on finishing up is my mac paint pot and as you can see i do have a pretty nice amount of this used up i am hoping to finish this up by the end of the year this is in my beauty a to z project the elf eyeshadow primer is currently in my project 10 uses and it will be getting rolled out on the next update because i've used it 10 times the elf glitter glue is really nice as well the bh cosmetics base booster is unopened i have yet to open that i don't want to have a bunch of these opened because i know they will dry out faster and i want to continue to finish up ones that are currently open before opening up the base booster the nyx proof it is almost gone so i'm hoping to finish this up by the end of the year as well which will bring me down to at least 13 which is more reasonable the catrice camouflage cream is nice it's just really thick and sticky but i do find that a lot of people really enjoy this i just have to get a feel for it and kind of use it again and see if this is something that i want to keep in my collection that's like the same with the NYX Professional Makeup White Eyeshadow Base. It isn't really the most opaque on the eye, even though it is a white base, which would be ideal for more bright, vibrant eyeshadows. It tends to just transform to my skin color of my eyelid. It's not really white, as white as I would like it to be. But what I would like to pan next is definitely, like I said, the NYX Proof It. I would like to ideally finish that up, as well as the e.l.f., eventually the Catrice 
and the NYX White Eyeshadow Base. There isn't any that I plan on decluttering as of now. I did declutter the Mary Kay one just because it was not my favorite. It didn't really do anything at all. My future numbers and goals for my eyeshadow primers and glitters would be ideally to get this down from 15 to at least eight. That way I have a couple eyeshadow primers, like one in a pot form and one with the wand, as well as having a liquid glitter glue and one in the tubes like this, which would be four. A nice anti-fatigue under eye primer, which I really like, would be five. An under eye brightener, six. Just a couple eyeshadow primer pots like this. So to get it from 15 to eight, I will be happy with is all of my eyeliners that I currently own with a total count of 26. 26 is just a lot, you guys. As you can see, I definitely love to have my color variation and different colors of eyeliners. I just love to have different colors of eyeliners to go with different kinds of looks that I be, may be doing. And it's just so fun to have the different colors and variations of eyeliners. I definitely don't feel as if I need 26 of them. These LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liners are absolutely beautiful, you guys. They are so creamy. They are so freaking good. They glide on the eye very effortlessly and they stay on all day. I can appreciate that. And I have almost every color of those and they're very affordable. And then of course the NYX Jumbo White Eyeliner, that big jumbo one that so many of us have. <laughs> These are also great from LA Girl. LA Girl makes really good eyeliners. These are the Glide On Gel Liners. They're both fairly inexpensive. I only have three black eyeliners. I have yet to finish any eyeliners. These are from Morphe. Morphe makes really good eyeliners as well and you get a lot in there. That's a very big pencil. I have the shades Pearly, Coin, and Bamboo from Morphe, which Bamboo is like a cream color. I also have this Ultimate Eye from LA Girl as well, and that's a really brightening eye for the under eye. I also have this 24-7 Urban Decay in the shade Alkaline. These are fan favorites for a reason. They are really great. They're just expensive. Urban Decay is very expensive. I haven't bought any more eyeliners, but I did receive the Pixie Black Eyeliner, and I won that in a giveaway at the end of last year. What I'm currently panning right now is these two right here on the end. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama in the shade Toffee. And I am currently painting this in my Beauty A to Z project, as well as this L'Oreal Silk Assemi. I can't never pronounce that. It's just a charcoal black eyeliner, which is currently in my past, present, and future. And I'm also working on this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in the shade Electric, which is also in my past, present, and future future project pan. What I would pan next, probably I want to say is the NYX Jumbo White one, just because it's a bigger white eye pencil and it'll probably go bad relatively soon. I would like to try to work on another one of these colorful ones, ideally one of these two, which is from Maybelline Lasting Drama. These are called light liners. They're just more like a lighter kind of texture. As you can see there, it's just really light type of a tip on that. And then I swatched it out. As you can see, it's really beautiful swatched out on the hand there. It's just a light, creamy type of eyeliner. So I really would like to try to pan one of these next. It really does make for a beautiful look on the eye. And then I also have this one as well, which is in the shade Shiny Bronze. If it's a little darker, I apologize. I had to set down my little handheld light that makes it super bright. But you can also kind of see these eyeliners a little bit better as well. See how shiny they are? They're really, really gorgeous. So I would ideally like to try to pan one of those two next. Here's what they look like with the light on, flashed on them. Really beautiful. 
am decluttering. As far as eyeliners, I don't have any of these that I'm decluttering. I know 26 is a lot and I need to be better about decluttering, but I don't want to declutter things just for the sake of decluttering it or just because I feel pressure to do it because somebody else is doing it or everybody else is doing it. I absolutely love my colorful eyeliners and I love eyeliner in general. It's one thing that I almost never go without every day I wear eyeliner. My future numbers and goals for my eyeliners is I would ideally like to at least try to get this down to 20. So I need to get rid of six or work on six or pay in six somehow. <laughs> As you guys could see, I have a lot of makeup, you guys, and it's going to take a little while. And this is just my inventory from 2019 to 2020. I am going to eventually sit down and share a video on my makeup goals at the end of the year, like where my collection was at the beginning of this year when I started and where it is at the end of the year and then followed by like my goals as well. I will show you guys each category broken down once I am able to officially film and get all my inventory videos up for you guys. And then I'm going to try to keep this ongoing as a yearly thing each year do inventory over here on my channel so that we can see uh, just how much I'm able to get these numbers down. That's everything for this video you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and please of course don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already and comment down below and until my next video everybody enjoy the rest of their day. <laughs> Bye.